Hi, welcome to another lesson on the Blind Accessibility Tips YouTube channel where we give basic lessons to help blind and visually impaired persons learn how to use their computers and smart devices. Remember that you can go to our website at blindaccessibilitytips.com to read these lessons as much as you wish. Today we'll be continuing in our Microsoft Word series and we'll be looking at the topic saving a document. Let's get started. Okay, so I already have Microsoft Word open and I've started a new document. Type some text. I'm going to up arrow to hear it. Blind accessibility tips. All right, so that's what I have alone so far in my document, but I still want to save it. So to save, you need to access the Save As dialog box. Now, to do that, the keystroke is pressing F12. However, the keystroke Control S can also help you to bring up the Save As dialog box if you have a new document open, right? If you don't have a new document, if you're in a document that was previously saved, then Control S will seemingly do nothing, but actually it is saving the updated version of your document. So whatever editing you just made, pressing Control S will actually tell Microsoft Word to save the changes you made and save it with the name that you had previously chosen and also to the location which you had previously selected, right? But in terms of a new document, Control S will help you to get to the Save As dialog box, but you will have to go through a few things. So let us see what Control S brings up in our new document. So pressing Control S now. Dialog, dialog. And it says dialog. Now, I want to point out that this dialog box that comes up here really only comes up in the later versions of Microsoft Word. So this is 2019 and it also comes up in the Office 365 versions of, uh, of Microsoft Word. Um, I'm just going to shift tab because there's an option here that we don't hear when it just comes in. So I'm going to shift tab. Save this file window. And then I'm going to tab to go back to that first control. File name edit selected blind accessibility tips. And it says file name and it has already put in the edit field for me blind accessibility tips. Microsoft Word always grabs the text you have in the first line of your document uh, to use as the name. It assumes you want to use it for the name. Uh, if you don't want it, you can go ahead and type in this section here to, to change the name. However, I'm fine with it. So I'm just going to tab away and go to the next control. Save this file window. Save as type combo box Word document. And it's saying save as Word document. I'm also fine with that. Tabbing away. Choose a location combo box collapsed document. And it says location documents. Yes. And this option here cannot be changed in this simple dialog box that comes up firstly in versions 2019 and, and later. Right. Um, so if you want to change the location to which you want to save this new document, you would have to to try and access the bigger save as dialog box right but let's just tab through again so we're going to leave documents and tab more options button you would have to access this more options button if you want to change the location but if you're fine with it just tab to save button alt plus s save and you would just enter on that right and you would have saved your document that would have been fine Okay, this time around, we are going to access the more options button from that same dialog box that comes up because, because we want to go ahead and access the major save as dialog box, which would allow us more options in terms, would allow us more options in terms of changing the location to which we would like our uh, document to be saved. All right, so pressing Control S again. Dialogue. Dialogue. Good. And then we're going to tab through to the more options button. Save this file window. Choose a location. More options. Button. Pressing enter. Document one word preview. File list. Save as save as alt. F. A. Good. Okay. So pressing enter on that more options button in that small dialog box brings you into the main menu with the save as option being activated. Right? So now what we're going to do is right arrow to browse and then enter on that all right so i'm gonna write arrow recent tab one drive this pc add a place to browse button other locations alt f a o yes browse other locations just gonna press enter on that option save as dialog file name combo box collapsed 
Edit all plus and selected blind accessibility tips. Okay, great. Now we have finally accessed the Save As dialog box. And we're going to learn how to use it. All right. Okay, I have escaped out of that Save As dialog box so that I could show you that the F12 key also opens the Save As dialog box, but in one go. So pressing F12 now. Save As dialog. File name. Combo box collapsed. Edit Alt Plus and selected blind accessibility tips. All right, good. So yes, it has opened the Save As dialog box and you are firstly placed in the file name edit area or the, the that's a control that you're first placed in when you open the Save As dialog box. The file name area, yes, it has already for us bland accessibility tips. That's because again, Microsoft Word grabs the text from the first line that you have. Assume that you want to name your document. So, uh, we want that but if you do not want that for your document you could have easily well have just simply typed right here in this area go ahead and type the name of what you want and then you could continue to do whatever else uh, the other important section or control of this window that i want you to know of is the tree view now the tab key will take us to different controls or sections of the window and um, the shift tab key will also do the same but shift tab will take you in the opposite direction right now i'm going to use shift tab because it will help us to get to the tree view faster items view list accessibility not select tree view this pc collapsed one of one level one okay so i pressed shift tab three times and now i am at the tree view now similar to the file explorer window this tree view is a listing of all the folders and drives that you have available to you on your machine, right? So if you were to up or down arrow through this listing, you would find whatever you want. I'm just going to press home to go to the top of this list. Level zero quick access expanded one of one. All right. So I'm going to down arrow now because I'm at the top. I'd have to down arrow. Level one desktop. Pinned. Desktop. One of downloads. Pinned. Downloads. One of one level documents. Pinned. One documents. Of one level one. Um, documents is typically where I would save this particular kind of file because it is a document. But say we wanted to save it to pictures, I'm just going to down arrow to pictures. Pictures, pinned, one of one, level one. Because we can save it anywhere. That's the beauty of the Save Us dialog box. We can choose the location that we want. So upon landing on pictures with my down arrow, you must press enter. Now pressing enter, you will not hear anything but you must press it so that it will be selected. And as long as pictures is selected or the folder that you want is selected, you can just go ahead now and tap back to the file name area. Items view list. Name split button collapsed. File name, combo box collapsed. Edit alt plus and selected blind accessibility tips. Yes, now I'm back on file name. Now, now if I am finished with the dialog box, I could easily well have just entered from here and it would close and my document would be saved to the pictures folder and with the name blind accessibility tips but before closing out i want to show you another control in the save as dialog box that you should know of in case you would like to use that option so gonna tab once more after this file name area tab once save as type combo box word document collapsed all plus t and it says save as type and by default, it is set to Word document, right? But if you were to down arrow here, you would hear varying options of other types of documents that you can actually save it as. So let me see. I'm going to down arrow and see what options are there. Expanded. Save as type. List. Word macro enabled Word document. Macro Word 97. 97. Word template. Word macro enabled. Word 97. PDF. PDF. XPS. Single file web. Web page. Web page. Filtered. And a lot, even plain text and rich text is down there. So whichever one of these document types that you would like, you could use. For me, I'm just going to go right back up to Microsoft Word document. Single file. Or just Word document. Word document. Right. And that's what I want. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, you could now tab to the save button to close out or you could shift tab to the file name and enter there. So you can either enter on the file name area or on the save button and both will do the same close out 
So right now, I'm just gonna tab to the save button and enter on that. So tabbing. Save as dialog. Metadata row group, save thumbnail check, toolbar. Tools toolbar, save button alt plus S. Save button and it also says alt plus S. All right, so I'm just gonna press enter. And that's it. Now your document has been saved or my document has been saved. It has been saved with the name blind accessibility tips and it has been saved to the documents folder, right? And that's it. All right, that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Remember that you can visit blindaccessibilitytips.com for this lesson and other lessons to read as you wish. The link for this specific lesson will be put in the description below and several other links will be also in the description that you might be interested in. Remember to leave a like on this video if it has helped you and share it with others who you think may need it. Also remember to subscribe to the channel to see whenever we upload. Thank you.